Today, the challenges are much more existential. What if young people don't like sports? This is something that I noticed while I was coaching girls basketball the uh, past couple years, is that youth sports is really going down. And it's not necessarily because uh, kids have so much other activities that they can do now, but kids are not being as physical as they once were. They're not necessarily outside playing. And when you're outside playing and running around and stuff, that's kind of when you start to pick up a ball or start kicking a ball. And, and then that's how you kind of get into sports. That's definitely how uh, my son and my daughter got into sports because they were outside running around because I'll throw out a ball. And then you can also say that unless you have parents that are into sports and athletic like that, more than likely you're not going to have children that are like that. And there's nothing wrong with any of this. But I also want to highlight the fact that sports is going down or, sport, or people watching sports is going down. Well, because sports is not a general thing. And the major sports in America, they have tried their hardest to make it like a general population thing and try to really push it into the entertainment realm. When in reality, sports is a niche type of uh, uh, thing. It's, that's what it is like. Only certain people are going to like certain sports and only people are going to like sports in general. But we try to make it a, a general population. And then you can see with major sports, as, as a, a youth that is playing a sport, they're playing the sport. They're, they're learning the fundamentals. They're learning the rules and violations. But when they watch something on TV, they're saying, wait, that's a travel. Wait, they're palming the ball. Wait, they're not calling the games the way it should be called because if I do it in my high school game, I get called for that, but they're doing it and they don't say nothing. Well, because sports that we see on TV is entertainment. So the entertainment value is going down because they have gone away from what has popularized sports in America and that being fair, balanced competition. You want to turn on the TV and you want to watch a fair and balanced, as close as fair and balanced competition where it makes you feel like, man, anybody can win this game, as opposed to we're seeing a lot of things almost be predetermined. You can call it rigging, call it fixing. We can go into sports betting, things like that. But what you're really seeing is the outcomes are being predetermined. The narratives are already being put out there before the game even starts. And so much of the media is around it and talking and stuff like that is the games are born. I've been to live games, Bucks games, Orlando Magic games, and playoff games for both franchises. And the intensity, the crowd and stuff is what gets me more into it. But a lot of times shit is boring because you have the TV timeouts. You have constant TV breaks and stuff for ads and everything. And then you have other things that's going on at the stadium and the arena, all these other promotions. So much that just is taken away from the game itself. So it's a passion that's not there as well in the players and then the whole industry within itself. So there's a lot to go into it, but that's just my long ass rant and thoughts on it.